in the incomer of 11 kb switch gear so we have uh, two incomers first is uh, uh, incomer 1 in 11 kb switch gear this is the ciprotec relay of uh, 11 kb switch gear and uh, this is uh, incomer 2 of 11 kb switch gear and uh, this is the ciprotec relay installed in the incomer 2 so uh, the purpose of this test is to check the signal interface between uh, uh, 132 kV ciprotec relay and 11 kV ciprotec relay. So, uh, what's the setup for that? The setup is that this is the ciprotec relay installed in the 11 kV switch gear. It is it has a hardwired interface with the EPB relay installed in the 11 kV switch gear incomer. Now, the actual control of the switch gear is through the ABB relay. So, there is a hardwired signal interface between the Ciprotec relay installed in the 11 kV switch gear incomer and the ABB relay also installed in the 11 kV switch gear incomer. But this Ciprotec relay is connected to a fiber optic link to 132 kV Ciprotec relay. So, we will simulate the signals from 132 kV Ciprotec relay to 11 kV Ciprotec relay and then check the hardwired signaling with the uh, ABB relay in the incomer. So, in order to uh, simulate signals from 132 kV Ciprotec relay, uh, what we have done is, we have uh, configured the Ciprotec relay of another incomer panel which is incomer 2. incomer 2. We have configured this Ciprotec relay as a 132 kV Ciprotec relay, just for simulation. And we have connected both these relays like this, this uh, uh, 132 kV Ciprotec relay is connected to, to the fiber optic link to the 11 kV Ciprotec relay. This is the 11 kV Ciprotec relay. So, so I will call this the incomer 1 relay as uh, 11 kV Ciprotec relay and uh, incomer 2 relay will be 132 kV Ciprotec relay. So now we have programmed it as 132 kV Ciprotec relay. And we will check the signal exchange between uh, from the 132 kV Ciprotec relay. We will check the signal exchange from 132 kV Ciprotec relay to FO link to, to 11 kV Ciprotec relay and then check the hardwired signal interface between the 11 kV Ciprotec relay and the ABB relay installed in the 11 kV switch. So, uh, so in total we have 8 signals. We will go one by one and explain as we go. So, uh, let's start the first signal. Uh, this is an overview of the signal list. You can see uh, this will be part of the signal test report. So let's start the first signal. The first signal is uh, 132 kV CB closed and 132 kV R switch open. 11 kV CB closed permitted. That means if this condition is true in the 132 kV side then we will have the permission to close the 11 kV CB the 11 kV circuit breaker so this is a signal from 132 kV side to 11 kV side so let's simulate that now uh, for this signal uh, we have assigned a binary input in the 132 kV Ciprotec relay we will show you that So this signal, it, it, this is this is the 132 kV Ciprotec relay, which is uh, now being configured as this is now configured as 132 kV Ciprotec relay. So here we have assigned the binary input one. You can see this is high now. This binary input is high. So when this binary input is high, then it sends this signal through this uh, fiber optic cable to the 11 kV Ciprotec relay. So now let's check it. So this is the 11 kV Ciprotec relay. Now as you can see here, we have con uh, configured, now this is the 11 kV Ciprotec relay that we are testing right now. This is the main relay that we are testing. So as you can see, we have configured an LED which is CB close per message. So the 11 kV CB can close now. This LED 5 is configured on this. We will also show you the, the, uh, the signal input to this relay. Uh, actually, 
this relay is getting the signal from 132 kV through a fiber optic and then it's sending this signal to ABB relay. So this signal is the DO, the binary output of Ciprotec relay and binary input of ABB relay. So I will show you in the, in the signal list the, the, the input output point. So this is the, these three columns are for 132 kV Ciprotec relay and this these columns are for 11 kV Ciprotec relay. So, so the, this signal is coming through FO link to, to the 11 kV Ciprotec relay and this 11 kV Ciprotec relay is sending the signal to ABB relay through its binary output number 3. So we will show you the binary output 3 will be high now in the 11 kV Ciprotec relay. As you can see, this is binary output, binary output, and the binary output number three is high now. Okay, it's high now. And and for the ABB relay, on which input it's coming, this binary output of a Ciprotec relay is coming on binary input one of X one X one twenty card of ABB relay. So this is this is ABB relay side. So it will show you the input that will also be high now. So that is true now. You can see X twenty one. And we have also configured uh, the, an LED for this, as you can see here, uh, 132 kV CB closed slash open. So it is showing as green. It is showing this LED green. It means that 132 kV CB is closed and we are allowed to close the uh, 11 kV circuit. So now let's actually check this. So uh, all other conditions should be satisfied for this. As you can see, we are getting some uh, synchro check blocks. So we'll have to provide the line side voltage for it. So, so let's provide the line side. We have uh, simulated the VT connection for this. So I will just turn this breaker on. This this uh, provides the line voltage to the instrument. So you will see that it's all okay now. Everything is good. We are good to go. All there is no uh, alarm, no error. All LEDs are green. So now we can close the breaker. Okay. So we'll try it. So we have 132 kV circuit breaker is already closed and we are allowed to close the 11 kV breaker. So I close it. So the breaker is closed. So this is again, I, uh, I will reiterate that this is the 11 kV Ciprotec relay that we are testing right now. We are receiving the 11 kV CV closed per message from 132 kV side and uh, we were allowed to close the breaker and we have closed it. So I will open it. Now we will retry this test with by inverting the signal on the 132 kV side. So, wait, wait, wait. so as you can see, we, we configured binary input 1 of 132 kV Ciprotec relay as a permissive signal. So we will just uh, remove this signal, the input will become 0. So for that we have interlocked with the test plug for only testing. So as you can see, so the binary input 1 is 0 now. There is no, no signal. Now we will go to the other side. As you can see here, the now we, this LED is red, 132 kV CV closed open. So it means now 132 kV CV is open and I am not allowed to close the 11 kV breaker. Actually 132 kV circuit breaker should close first, only then 11 kV can close. So we will also show, show you the signals. Here they will show the binary output of the 11 kV Ciprotec relay that is going to the ABB. So it is BO3, as you can see, the Ciprotec relay output BO3 is 0. This is the output of this Ciprotec relay to the ABB relay. So please show in the ABB relay which was that signal? X20. So as you can see X20 input 1, it's false. Okay, so we have checked this. And now we will actually try it. As you can see, we are not getting, uh, there is no permission from 11 kV side, uh, sorry from 132 kV side and we will try to close the breaker. All other conditions are okay. As you can check the voltage is present, Everything is okay, so we'll try the closing of the thing. See, it, it is not closing. Uh, I am giving the command through this TLC switch close, but it's still open, not closed. So uh, this completes our first signal check. We have checked the 11 kV CB close permission. The 11 kV CB can close only when 132 kV circuit breaker closes. Only after that we can close it. So we have checked this both the conditions, the permission also check and the invert signal also check. So now we... Uh